Uh, I don't feel guilty skipping you. So I've heard that this game had a new leveling experience in the latest uh, expansion. I'm wondering if the way they handle levels has anything to do with that or if they're just basing it off of D&D which would probably make more sense. Alright, I finally lowered the FX volume so I don't have to keep fixing that and editing <laughs> and I'm not deafening myself every time I get into combat. Bah. Oh, hi. I just turned to see if that rounded looking thing in the corner was a heavy sack. It's really weird playing Elder Scrolls Online and Neverwinter at the same time. Rage against the dying of the light. Do not go quietly into that good night. I do like um, this as a mechanic. Every level up you can open a box. And what's in the box? It's exciting, except that was actually the most boring box I've opened so far. This is uh, the biggest hurdle, not the biggest, but this is a hurdle of any new MMO. What do I do with my old items? Do I sell them? Is there some kind of crafting system I dust them into? Do I do this? <laughs> ah, the fabled hero of my legend, Doritos Gamer. Fucking hell. Brothers oh my god, that's the third voice! Oh, he's got a dinosaur! I like that mount. <laughs> it's she who swore the blood oath to Clarabernus Tanthor. To who? Prince of Shade. Uh oh, this guy's got a fucking tiger for a pet? What class is he rocking? Oh, I just realised his tiger pet is probably a companion just like Freya is. <laughs> it weirds me out that you can have human companions or you can have animal companions, it's not like a class thing. Oh my god, I literally pushed him off the abyss into a bed of spikes. What's in this one? A, a new bag, I needed that. Sweet. It's weird that I got um, an achievement for completing the penultimate quest in that area, but not an achievement for finishing the final quest in that area. Holy hell, is that your companion? You've just got a massive winged angel with a sword of light as your companion. Your companion looks way more epic than you do. <laughs> so if you can refine up to 100,000 a day and the cap is 100 million, I'm going to go ahead and say that the, the fee for respecking your talent points and doing transmog stuff uh, isn't too bad, especially since you earn them from doing random dungeons. That actually seems fine. Unless, of course, they up the... Um, relative cost as you level up. That's something that could always happen in a free-to-play game, so I will reserve my judgement until in-game. Wait, you just told me to leave here. Why are you telling me to go back here now? Oh! Oh no! Oh, that was weird. Did you see that, Freya? <laughs> was that just me? <laughs> oh, I feel a sense of dread. Oh my god, it's Obama. So, first zone, undead. Second zone, werewolves. Third zone, undead. You're basing this off d and I know you have more up your sleeve than this. Uh, claim rewards. Scroll of Life improved bag of holding. Very nice. Lots of astral diamonds and some gold. Cool. Okay, we can we can jump ahead here. So, um, necromancy more undead. And then we've got frost giants. That's nice. Uh, we've got plague changed creatures. That sounds unique. And then we've got the drow. Ooh, that's going to be awkward. Diamond drow. This place is who you gonna call? All you need to do is gather one of the flowers known as Saloon's Tears and burn it in the brazier found amid the ruins of Grist's old home. Saloon's Tear, not a loon's tear. Saloon's t very different, very different. This place is it is. Thank you for that observation, Freya. Uh, that ghost is tea posing. <laughs> right, I was gonna say. <laughs> Normally there's enemies in these houses. There we go, that sorted that problem out. Oh no, what have I done? Uh, well, it all worked out in the end. Except I can't get to the loot, but... That's fine, it's not a quest item. So here's my theory as to why so many characters have multiple voice actors per quest. I feel like these quests used to be attributed to different characters standing around each other in the world, but when they did the leveling revamp, they probably wanted to simplify the experience. So to make it easier on players, they just had all of the quests acceptable from one person, but they didn't have a budget to re-record all of the voice acting. That's my theory. Ah, uh, look at all of these lore-friendly character names. We've got Leah, we've got Solinar. We've got, let's see, we've got Jawful, 
We've got Lolita, which I guess works. <laughs> Never mind. The punchline was gonna be Johnny D D D D, but Lolita completely threw me off. Hi. Um. Or you could not. We could. Man, diplomacy really is not successful in this game. Oh my god, how many fucking zombies are in this crypt? Search the bag, if the bag's a mimic, I swear to god. 3,600 seconds. That's a really annoying way of putting it. What's that, like half an hour? 3,600 seconds is 60 minutes, you uneducated swine. Just put it in minutes. People don't measure time in seconds. Who the fuck wrote this? This crypt sucks. Although, to be fair, have you ever been in a crypt and been like, Oh man, this crypt was lovely. What a lovely crypt. Jesus Christ, I almost died. Oh, there's more? Fucking hell, there's more? Oh, and I've got low-level potions equipped. Amazing. Oh, you're a mimic. Of course you are. I know you are. You're not. Okay. The best thing about making videos is you can do the broken clock is right twice a day thing, but you edit out all of the other times of a day that you were wrong. Alright, um, I'm going to swap back to Trembles because he heals me more. I think she's kind of like a healer damage dealer, whereas Trembles is more of an outright healer and I think I need him. Uh, right, going to need to jump for this one, but I feel like my jump doesn't take me that far. <gasps> yep, okay, oh that's just great. How many enemies are behind me? Okay. I was about to get quite mad. Oh my god, there's traps everywhere. Oh wait, do the Stones of Health not have a cooldown associated with them? Oh, that's kind of OP. This is an impossible jump, by the way. Just so everyone knows. Uh, impossible jump. And I'm getting poisoned so much, I'm having to spam healing items. This game was great until this dungeon. This dungeon sucks. Oh wait, is there a ledge you can walk? There's a ledge you can walk across. Never mind, forget that last clip. I suck. I bet it's a mimic. Haha! <laughs> See? I predicted it! I keep doing this in this game. I go to do something and then I get distracted by something else in the menus and then I forget what I was doing. Oh my god! I pushed him off the edge and he just straight up died even though he's a boss? That's amazing! Ah, uh, I see this, uh, this thief here suffers from Elder Scrolls Syndrome of I'm literally dying. Better write my thoughts down and then write dot 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 when, uh, when I'm about to die. There is much to be done. Well done. Oh, why have you got red skulls around you? Hi, why have you got red skulls around you? Okay, I seem to be able to kill you easily enough. Not sure what that was about. Oh lord, that's a lot of zombies. Oh my god, where did that zombie go? I like that they phase other players out when you go into the screen. That's a nice little touch that I wouldn't have expected this game with the, the amount of jank that it has to do. Each zombie you destroy means one less to join in an attack on the temple. Yes, that's how mathematics works. The Sky Pony Tribe? Sorry, is this My Little Pony all of a sudden? All right, I've taken about two steps into this barrow and I've killed like 50 zombies already. So the quest to kill 50 zombies, I'm hoping it applies here as well. Ragnaros of the Great Worm Tribe was a magician and oracle? No, he wasn't, he was the Fire Lord. Bow mortals and all that. Wow, Ragnaros was a lot easier to kill in this universe. Oh, there's a quest over here? There's quests off a of beaten path? Fucking- sorry, which game am I playing again? I thought I was playing super linear MMORPG. The game. That's a point as well. I don't really have any incentive to go out and do these side quests. Because XP isn't a thing. Whoa. Temple of the Primordial? Oh! Never mind. Sorry, I guess I did have an incentive to do that quest. Or did it give me an achievement for the wrong thing? I don't think that quest was called Temple of a Primordial. This achievement unlocks after finishing the quest Temple of a Primordial. The quest line that leads up to this starts with General Nox and Protector's Enclave, as all story quests do, and takes you to Mount Hotanau. Huh. Maybe this was taken out of a game? And, and they had to put the achievement somewhere and this is the guy who told me about something? that used to happen with that quest? These ones are just locked in for me. I guess the game saw my last video and was like, look, fucking idiot, I'll do it for you. Wow, 40 copper, never mind. That bonus room was, uh, not worth it. Man, I'm just bullying this guy. Ah, uh, did it. 
Trembles, did you just take full damage? <laughs> I saw that. Level 10. Ding. Can't wait to get the achievement in like 10 minutes. Grant you mercy in death. Could you grant me mercy in life? I really like having an orb floating next to me if I cast my spells from my thing. That's really fucking cool. This reminds me so much of the opening to Dark Souls. I was half expecting a gigantic fucking boss to appear and just destroy me. Oh, hi. Ghostly priest. I'm just gonna let you wait for the next adventure to come down here in another thousand years because I ain't got nothing to sell you. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Bye. So it seems to be when I, um... When I hit them with my Y ability, that sends enemies zooming off over clifftops. That's what breaks boss death animations and just has them kind of float away. Oh, another good plaque. Unless it's on my teeth. Please don't spawn more enemies. God damn it! I'm Tragion Wivensbane, a wizard. My companions and I came here with the Doom guy. Sorry, Tragion. I've been Only interrupted. Right, sorry. What the, What were you saying? Oh, that's a lot of dire helms. Maybe I can avoid that patrol. Maybe I can put the palace of Mogushan this shit. Huh? Huh? It's a reference for all you Mr. Pandaria veterans out there. No, no, I could not. Temple of Mogushan. I don't remember what that fucking dungeon was called. Oh no, one of them dropped a Call of Duty box. <laughs> fucking CSGO box, I mean. And I can't get it. Whatever will I do? Do you guys want to maybe fuck off. Nope, they don't. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Seriously? Alright. <laughs> getting to that point. This is this happens in every MMO. If I play it for too long, I get tired of playing it. I'm like, I'm just gonna finish this quest and the quest goes on forever and I get antsy. I did it. I stopped the undead from being risen. Please pay no attention to the fact that undead is still being risen. I definitely did it. The law says that I did it. You should head back to Neverwinter and tell Sergeant Knox what has happened here. I'm certain he'll want to know more, and I think there are far greater adventures ahead for you, my friend. Thank you for that praise and also your suggestion for what I should do next. I will be sure to heed your words and act on those words. Nailed it. Arcanists focus on the mysteries of the arcane. And mastery of lightning. Oh, lightning! Whatever you choose, I look forward to seeing the hero you become. Harper Rose, could you not maybe guess which one I want to go with based on my reaction? Oh, these are all cast times now. One of the things I liked about this class was how instant everything was compared to most other wizards in other MMOs, you know? But now all of this is like cast times? I don't know. I mean, they gave me free retraining tokens, so. I'm gonna go with Arcanist and see how it feels, uh, because that sounds like fun. I want to be a lightning wizard. That dwarf is almost as tall as I am. Dwarves are more wide than short in this game. Oh, what the fuck? That's one hell of a mount. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think I like it. I like snails, but that's it's not my kind of snail. Snails are meant to be cute.